Without further ado, I'd like to introduce the patriarch of jazz in Charleston. Everybody, put your hands together for the Oscar Rivers Quartet. <laughs> Oscar Rivers is one of the most important musicians of our time in Charleston, South Carolina. Because of his performing ability, because of his knowledge about many different styles of music, his quiet but very distinctive work ethic. Not just music, you know, or jazz, but in the arts. There's something that I think every artistic person can learn from Oscar Rivers. I think how multi-talented Oscar is, is really one of the most unique things about him. Um, he is incredible on the piano, as most of us here in Charleston know, but some of us may not know that he started out on sax, and he used to play the Chicago circuit back in the day. And um, yeah, he is, he's a beast on a saxophone. Oscar Rivers, to me, is one of the most important musicians uh, most important musical contributions from Charleston. Having lived in Chicago, played with some of the greats, I'm, I boast about Oscar, about him being one of the guys who actually stood on stage with the great Sonny Stitt because it happened. Oscar's that guy. So if you want to know our bebop, alto saxophone god, that would be Oscar Rivers Jr. It's been a, a lot of fun playing with him. His energy and passion for the music is really what keeps me going. He's a, a remarkable musician and generous to a fault about a lot of things. And I, I just thoroughly enjoyed working with him. Oscar, as an educator and just impactful musician and person in the city of Charleston is uh, pretty, pretty widespread whether it is formal training of him teaching in public schools, whether uh, it's the after-school band programs that he used to run, uh, whether it's um, folks like me that may not have been in the classroom with him but learned a lot by just observing him on the bandstand. I think that Oscar's influence here in Charleston is really best described as teacher. And he's taught so many people. He's had such an impact on so many musicians that we know here in town. The community here in Charleston is really tight. Everybody knows everybody. We've all inevitably probably played with each other, especially in the jazz community. And um, even in the blues community, there's some crossover there. But I think that he has impacted so many of us because of how many of us he has taught. Uh, he saw me at a point in my career uh, when it was really just getting started. Um, but the practices that he taught me, hopefully he's seen these practices actually come to fruition. His influence in Charleston is huge just because he's taught so many people at Burke High School. And we can't go anywhere without him being recognized. If you know Oscar, his demeanor is so calm and quiet, but when he puts that saxophone on, he'll cut you like crazy. I remember with my students, I would ask them, you know, what would it feel like to have a day without art, without music, without poetry, without literature, without painting? And I have to say that I cannot imagine a day in Charleston without jazz and Oscar Rivers. Thank you, my friend, for enriching all of us.
So I have to say, I'm so grateful that you're in our lives here in Charleston. And I'm so grateful that I came to Charleston and that you're in my life. And thank you. <laughs>